too much to reckon. So while Danny's in the shower, I want to introduce you to the bane of my life. That's right. So what happens, right, is that every time we open the dishwasher, it just gets knocked down because it wasn't cut deep enough. And then you've got to put it back up again. And then three, four times a day, every time we have a meal, if we turn the dishwasher on and open it up, that falls down, it makes loads of noise, and it is incredibly frustrating. During our workout today, we were listening to Farrah Monch because he just recently released a new album with someone else, I can't remember who. And um, yeah, I really fancied listening to him. Uh, we sessioned the whole of Desire, finished on uh, War. I was gonna put um, Internal Affairs on, but I didn't think Danny would appreciate it too much. It's too much like um, proper hip hop, isn't it, really? Uh, which is great for me, but um, yes, yeah, I didn't think she'd appreciate it so much being, you know, Latin American and uh, only listening to reggaeton, basically. <laughs> Right guys, so I just finished doing a bunch of comments. We responded to a bunch of comments on one of my YouTube channels, the Cardano State Pool, Stoic Pool. Um, if you're interested in Cardano or cryptocurrency, go and check that out. Um, <clears throat> and then I just uploaded the latest video to it as well. So, nice and productive. So yesterday, I had my ketones first thing in the morning with my coffee. Today, I'm waiting until after, you know, we trained in the morning, I had my coffee. We've had some breakfast just now. Now I'm going to have the ketones. So I've already had like a load of coconut oil, eggs, some turkey, um, slicey things, which it turns out to have more fat than carbs, which is nice. And they, yeah, so now we're gonna smash out the ketones and hopefully I'll be able to test positive for being in a ketogenic state or ketosis for a little bit longer than yesterday, which is about two hours. Danny and I share the ketones because obviously there's two of us. Excuse our flat's a bit of a mess at the minute. And so, Danny goes first. Oh no! Why is that all of mine? No. No, it's half and half. It's a face of excitement there. No. It just makes me want to throw up, guys. This is horrible. <laughs> It doesn't really matter if it's up or down, just take it. <laughs> Bottoms up. Ooh, add some chunks. Oh no. Delicious chunks. Woo! That is horrible. <laughs> <laughs> it is like my our morning suffering. It is disgusting guys. So if you do have the option, definitely get on its ketones, <laughs> okay? <laughs> because this stuff just tastes bitter. The Onyx ones tasted nice. I mean, they were a bit weird at first, but they were like salty, salted watermelon or something. Trust me, they were good. Um, you can go to morethanifty.com slash get on it to get 10% off all their supplements and stuff as well. Just, uh, just throwing that in there. If you want some uh, special little discount on your supplies. Danny's styling it out. Woo! Look at them hooves. Look at them hooves. Give us a twirl. And a couple of punches. <laughs> Come on today. My arms are just like, no. Look here, and then bring down. It's terrible. So. <laughs> Sometimes Danny gets cold. <laughs> 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 
the harsh truth of working <laughs> from home. And this room is so warm, but I'm still freezing all the time. <laughs> Right guys, so I am just setting up to do my podcast. So podcasting is one of those things that I've been doing for a very long time, but then had a very long extended break from. So I was doing it like twice a week for I think like two, two and a half years, which is pretty decent. Um, and basically, well, I did it for once a week for a year and then had a bit of a break in the middle somewhere and then I did it twice a week for the the rest of the, the other time that I've been podcasting <laughs> and then I've had basically two years off podcasting and I've been so desperate to get back on it <clears throat> and just haven't got around to doing it people actually message me all the time asking about when I'm going to be doing more episodes of the podcast for more than lifting so in the last kind of couple of weeks, I did one at the end of January and one at the beginning of February. Then last week I didn't do one and I've got to jump on it. I've just got to get back in the swing of doing it consistently um, because otherwise I just will stop. <laughs> so I need to start building that habit as soon as possible so that I can continue doing podcasts in the future and I just get in the groove of doing it and bam, 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 podcast everywhere. So I've been doing the podcast as a live stream because it means that I actually do it when I do it. And it also kind of removes a barrier, the barrier of editing and like publishing, even though I still kind of have to do it because I still have to do it for um, Spotify and uh, Apple Music and the actual just audio version, but uh, I can do it as a video. <laughs> go which um means that i get it out and there's a minimum viable product it's done it's instant and i can have some kind of interaction with people when they want to at least on here or through obs or on, on twitch or youtube essentially um, it means i develop the skill of actually doing the live stream and learn how to work with stuff like that because i kind of want to do more of that especially this year and yeah, it gives me the chance of the interaction, it gives me that, and it's something and it's done. And so it just removes a barrier um, because I can just have it and, it and it's something and it's done, which, yeah, it's good. It's good to do it like that. So I'm gonna set this up by here. I literally record this on my camera, that's what it's called, and I plug it into OBS on my laptop. So I'm just gonna pop that out of here. Oh, I didn't finish doing that. But then I have reasonable control over what's going on. I can pull this literally right here. I don't, I can't remember exactly how I had this set up, but it was something like this, where I can have this here, I can be talking at the camera. I had this so that it was out of the scene though. How did I do that? Oh, that was so good originally. Maybe it should just be like here. <laughs> yo, 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 podcasting things. <laughs> <laughs> that is not going to work. That is not going to work. Um, but I do want it to be arranged in a way that I can oop, 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 have this set up. I can have this here that I can talk into. And I can have like some of the plants and that here. So it's a bit more interesting background. And I think I've just basically got a crop in on the camera. Mm. Right, guys. So I think I've figured it out. I actually didn't need that there. I can just sit by there. Look, there you go. So I can just sit by there. By here it will be able to reach, so that's fantastic. I can just lower this a little bit. I also live stream them. I had a little thing to remind me right there. Um, I also live stream these on Instagram, so that's just another place that I can publish this as well, which is another way that I can get in front of people, another way that people can find out about the podcast and kind of ask questions and stuff as well. So that's another thing, it's just another little place that I can be distributing, which is obviously very important. Um, yeah, so now I've kind of figured this out, I just need to drop that a little bit, plug it into the laptop, open up OBS, bam, podcast. So I just started my podcast and this ran out of battery. So I didn't even know that it could do that when it was plugged in, but apparently it can. So now I have to just change the battery and I have to start all over again. Love it. Right, so podcast is done 
and been sitting down now for like a good hour and a half, two hours, so I kind of just need to get the blood moving a little bit. Take that off. Let's do this. blood pumping, getting that back working a little bit, smashing out a couple kettlebell swings. Because I'm doing the keto thing, I'm not allowed to be having my usual delicious cappuccinos. Instead, I've got to deal with espressos. Now, espressos tend to be pretty strong. And do they have enough caffeine? I mean, they do. But they're not something that I really want to savor because it's not something I particularly enjoy like I do with a cappuccino. So I'm just gonna stick it in a little cup, straight down me like that, oh yeah. That's strong. Right, so it's day two of trying to figure this out, this keto situation. And I had my lunch. Well, I haven't had lunch, sorry. I've had a kind of breakfast and I've had my keto coffee with my coconut oil. I need to go to the shop and get more coconut oil, remind me of that. And I had my ketones afterwards, about an hour after eating. And obviously then, when I went for a week, I, I was uh, in ketosis because I just had my ketones. So it's now, ooh, a couple of hours later, and let's see if we pass. I think you can tell by my enthusiastic expression that it wasn't very positive. So basically that means that so far, I haven't really been in ketosis, even though I haven't been eating a lot of carbs, and although I've been eating a lot of fat and I've been having the ketones, the only time that I've really been in ketosis so far is just immediately after having the ketones, which is debatable. Like, am I just um, testing positive that, like for ketones because I've drunk ketones and so that's making ketones appear in my urine? That's more likely. I can't with my arms today. <laughs> can't even. So you probably realized by now that steak is like one of our go-to things. We both like steak, we both like it blue. Woo! Nothing more to say. <laughs> Ooh. What? Look at them, they look amazing. They look so good, he's chosen well. That, a little oil on it. Some cheese there at the waiting, Danny. Danny doesn't have all the oil on this. So one thing that I do is when I'm having my steak is I pour all the oil out of the pan onto the steak afterwards because me love, me love that fat. And especially now with the trying to be keto type situation, it's kind of important just to have as much fat as I can. Just pig out on it. It's like, it's not vegetable oil or anything like that, which we shouldn't really be eating. It's like really good quality olive oil. So it's not doing anything bad. It just adds to the deliciousness. And I've got something to mop up with my steak, you know, cause I haven't got gravy or anything. 